welcome and thank you everyone who is joining us today. Uh, the age of edutainment, how to use video effectively with your LMS and your institution. My name is Nick. I am head of content at Powtoon. Uh, also joining me at the conference today, John and Adam from our EDU team. They're over at our booth, at our virtual booth. So do uh, say hello to them. And if you have any questions that come up uh, in the presentation today, you can definitely contact them and they'll be able to answer those questions for you and tell you more about Powtoon and about uh, video and your institution. Um, but I wanna get right in to what we're going to cover today. Oops, let me move my window here. Uh, first, we're going to talk a little bit about Powtoon. Who are we? Uh, why do? What do we know? What's our expertise? Uh, why are we a good fit uh, for the edu education world in this age of edutainment? Age of edutainment. What am I talking about? Even we're going to get into that as well. Uh, we're going to talk about video and your LMS, and I actually have a, uh, a short walkthrough to show you exactly how to put. Uh, these ideas into action. And then finally, we're going to see some concrete examples from customers, people who are using video uh, to, to educate and to connect across their institutions, not only with students and faculty. So uh, it should be a whole lot of fun today, hopefully a whole lot of value for everybody who's joining us. Um, but first, a little bit about Powtoon. Um, Powtoon, uh, we were built for academic institutions from K-12 to higher ed. Uh, our, our earliest uh, customer base, people, you know, uh, uh, um, communities that we were working with were educators and marketers, right? Um, Powtoon is a visual communication platform that makes videos and visual content enjoyable to create, simple to manage, and quick to distribute. Over 15 million teachers, students, and administrators love using Powtoon to communicate visually. And actually, that's, that represents about half of our customer base uh, out there of our users, uh, about 30 million users total, a little over that now for Powtoon worldwide in over 145 countries, 5 million Powtoons, educational Powtoons that you can find on YouTube already created by YouTube users out there over the last few years, 15 million users in EDU K-12 through higher ed, uh, 300 plus enterprise clients for our enterprise platform. Um, you know, I only bring that up not to toot my own horn, but to let you know that we're working with uh, the institutions at the cutting edge of education today, Indiana University, Rutgers, Yale, uh, also uh, elementary and, and uh, high school districts across the country and around the world. Um, so what am I talking about, the age of edutainment? What does that even mean? Uh, there was a study last year by Adnani et al. Uh, looking at Powtoon, actually looking at Powtoon as the implementation of edutainment. They define edutainment as delivering education through uh, animated videos and entertaining content. Uh, and that's the approach that they looked at. They studied uh, English as foreign language learners uh, to see what is the impact. And they had some key findings from this study. First of all, edutainment is effective, right? Uh, so put this against traditional uh, educational content and it is effective. We know it's effective. In specific, right, we see that animated videos created with Powtoon improved English language comprehension for EFL learners, uh, which is huge. They found further that students were more interested in learning in the, in the subject matter that they were engaging with and that students were more motivated to be active in the learning process, right? Um, this is essential. This is essential for this moment in time uh, where not only do you need to connect with students who may be remote uh, in the world, but you also want to connect in a way that's going to capture their imagination, that's going to um, get them motivated to engage with the ideas that they're learning. But not only that, it's actually also important for all sorts of other uh, contexts for communication within an institution of learning, uh, with uh, all sorts of uh, audiences 
out there, and we're going to get into some specifics about that. I want to talk about a little bit of research that our partners over at Cultura did. This is looking specifically at post-pandemic video use in education. And they found a few things that were really, really important. I think tracks with what, we, what we've what we also seen in our users and what uh, that study uh, from last year found. First of all, 83% of institutions are now using video for remote teaching and learning. That remote reality happened and it happened overnight last year. And so now we see uh, nearly all institutions using video to teach remotely in some capacity or another. Uh, another 83%, 83% see videos positive impact on student satisfaction. 73% uh, say that it, it helps to increase student achievements. And 70% say video is attracting the right students to their institution. Don't forget about that. Your uh, communication with your students begins before they're enrolled, right? And video can be an important part of that as well. 45% of institutions reported that over half of their students are creating videos for class. And then they had uh, some points about when life gets back to normal. 68% want to blend face-to-face -face education with virtual initiatives, right? There's value in visual content and video even if everyone returns to the classroom, but there remains value as well in, uh, in the hybrid situation. And of course, 27% think they need to rethink education from the ground up. Uh, and and that, is, that is really what we're seeing as well in this age of edutainment, that uh, the, co the smart combination of engaging visual content, uh, a mix of animation and live action, um, being able then to deliver those videos, those messages, those assignments, uh, reports in a way that is easy to manage and plugs directly into the LMS that your institution is already using. So what does that mean for practically, right? Who can use video in your institution? Uh, again, administrators, you might not think I'm talking to you, you might think that I'm talking only to professors, only to teachers, only to instructors, and only to students, but the fact is internal communications and, uh, and communicating across the institution, leadership development, uh, department presentations, student orientations, career center resources, health and safety explainers, virtual conferences, alumni engagement, uh, the administration needs to think about how they're communicating visually as well. Of course, simple faculty, right? Virtual lectures, course syllabi, hackathon projects, class intros and summaries, assignment briefs, project kickoffs, all, all of that good stuff. Uh, pretty much any time a, a professor, an instructor would be handing over an assignment to a student, um, that assignment can be delivered via video. And then the last piece there, students themselves, right? They can also create videos in response as their work to summarize their work, right? Uh, literature summaries, project summaries, student resumes, uh, research summaries, learning and skills development, technology skill building, communication skills, all of that can be worked on and presented in a package that's going to make a better impact than just a PDF or another boring PowerPoint, right? Something that really captures attention and makes an impact. So if we wanted to bring this then to some more concrete examples, now we know who uh, are the players, but then what are the ways in which you can use video uh, along with your LMS? First of all, marketing and recruiting. Uh, and it may be important, uh, you know, in your in your creative process, maybe to get approvals of, of marketing and recruiting uh, content, you might want to share that internally before you make that public on an outside channel or something like that. Very, very important. Of course, campus life, right? Uh, this imagine those screens that you have, uh, you know, across campus, uh, any kind of, uh, you know, important information about upcoming events, uh, anything you'd need to communicate about campus life, uh, that could be a video as well. Again, playing on uh, those flat screens in the hallways on the uh, campus life homepage, and we're going to have an example of some of this in just a moment. 
events. Nothing is stronger than video to promote an event, to uh, tease why it's going to be valuable, what's in it for the students, faculty, or staff who are going to attend that event. Uh, research. Every, every piece of research. Listen, you can deliver somebody an abstract or, or uh, you know, a study um, that's got all the information. Um, not everybody's going to read that. Most people won't read that. Or you can present the findings of your research in a video, in an infographic, in an explainer, in uh, a face-to-camera uh, screen capture that would look similar to what we're doing here today. Um, delivering research is an incredibly powerful way to use video in your organization. Uh, the Career Center, and I have an example we're going to look at in just a moment, is so important. This is an inflection point, right, between where students are showing their work and being educated and being a part of the community of learning at your institution. That's that inflection point to where they need to go out there and build their own community, uh, start to build their own career. Video is an essential tool for training students to do that, for inspiring them to make those connections. Uh, and of course, to let them know what resources exist at your institution so that they can be set up for success. Uh, finally, fundraising. Uh, most universities in some capacity or another live and die by their fundraising. And especially in times where there's economic difficulty, especially in times where the future is uncertain, uh, especially in times when, when institutions are trying to retool the way that they're connecting with students, right? Fundraising is more important than ever. How do you tell that story of the impact your institution has? How do you tell that story to the stakeholders, to your alumni? Um, how do you empower them to help support and grow your institution? You show them how to do it with video. I wanted to mention career centers. Stick with me here just a moment. Um, over here on the uh, ocs.yale.edu, this is the Office of Career Strategy over at Yale University. This is, uh, they have a ton of Powtoons, uh, videos they've created with Powtoons Visual Communication Platform that then they serve on their Office of Career Strategy website. We're just gonna take a moment and watch uh, their introduction video for students. Welcome to the Office of Career Strategy. We're so glad you're here. Let's take a few minutes to introduce our services and help you better engage with us during your time at Yale. First, who are we? The Office of Career Strategy, often referred to as OCS, offers career advising, professional school advising, guidance and resources for employment and internship opportunities, and career development resources. We work with students and alums of Yale College, the Yale Graduate School of Arts and Sciences, and postdoctoral scholars to clarify career aspirations, identify opportunities, and offer support at every stage of career development. You can be just starting out exploring your career interests, have a specific industry or field in mind, or be active in the job or internship search. Wherever you are, here are the many areas we can help. We can share the many ways to find internships and postgrad opportunities with resources such as Yale CareerLink and other online job portals. We have advisors to discuss applying to graduate school, including master's, PhD, MBA, law, medical, and health professions programs. We'll review your application materials, including your resume, cover letter, references, portfolio, and more. We offer advising sessions to sit down and talk about anything you need to cover ranging from where do I start to I know exactly what I want to do. We help you understand and get comfortable using networking opportunities and talk about the helpful resources we have, such as the peer lists, employer events, and more. For any of these options, we have a team to support you. OCS has staff to support employer relations, STEM Connect, Common Good and Creative Careers, Experiential Learning, Alumni, and GSAS specific advising. Plus, for any career question, we likely have a resource. OCS offers information 24-7 through our animated videos, expansive website, online resume and cover letter review service, and downloadable worksheets. Our one-on-one -on -one advising includes longer pre-scheduled appointments, as well as quick 15-minute chats for when you'd like to see a career advisor. 
OCS also organizes numerous employer events and offers a variety of workshops throughout the year. No matter where you are in the process or what your interests are, we look forward to supporting you in your career exploration. So that gives you a sense of uh, just one, one institution and just one video that is just one sample of how they're delivering more value to their students in the Office of Career Strategy over at Yale. Uh, just going to continue here uh, because I promised you something concrete, and uh, that's exactly what we're going to look at right now. Video and your LMS. We're going to take a look actually at um, uh, a short how-to I created that shows the integration with the Canvas LMS. So if you're using Canvas, this actually is available today. We have other integrations as well with other LMS systems. If you have any questions about that at all, please stop by our virtual booth, say hi to John and Adam. Uh, they're, they're my guys, they're my experts, and they can help you um, find the, the solution, the connection, the integration that works best for your institution. Hey everybody, it's Nick from Powtoon, and today I am super excited to show you Powtoon's integration with the Canvas LMS. It's an easy way for you and your students to incorporate video and visual content in your day-to-day -day learning seamlessly and totally intuitively. Once your integration is all set up, you'll be able to access the Powtoon workspace by finding the Powtoon logo here. This is where all the video creation magic happens for you and for your students. Uh, under My Powtoons, you can see all the different Powtoons that you've already created. In the Learning Center, you can connect to tutorials and webinars to help you make better videos and visual content. Apps and integrations also extend the functionality of Powtoon. Uh, but this is also where you create your videos. You can create a video from scratch. You can import existing PowerPoints, or you can work with a professionally designed and optimized template, including a whole bunch just for EDU. Now, where does the real magic happen? Once you start putting those videos and pieces of visual content together with the LMS. First of all, in any uh, text edit box, you can link directly to a Powtoon. Let me show you how that works. We're here in a new assignment. I'm just gonna go ahead and create this. Teacher introduction. Hello, class. Great to have you in the classroom or on our, or online this year. Watch my intro video. And you simply select the Powtoon logo. This will pull up a selection panel that will show you all of the Powtoon videos you have available in your My Powtoon section. You can select this Powtoon. If you're not quite sure if this was the right one, you could always select it to watch a video preview to be sure that that's the Powtoon you wanted. Oh, yep. Mr. Nick introducing himself to the class. That's the one I want. Select this Powtoon. Now we can see the text link is here. You can edit the anchor text if you like, uh, or you can simply leave it as the title of the video. And now your students can click on that in the assignment or in any other text box where you've placed that text, you know, in announcements and other places, uh, they can click that. It'll open up inside the Canvas context for them. So you know it's safe and secure. Let's continue with the assignment, shall we? Please submit your own intro video in any style you like. Beautiful. So, how can a student submit a Powtoon in response to an assignment? There's a couple ways to do this. Uh, simply, you can just choose for submission type, choose online and website URL. And we'll see what that looks like on the student side in just a moment. Let's talk about another really great way to create an assignment with Powtoon and the Canvas LMS. We're going to create a new assignment here. Again, teacher introduction, we'll call this classroom introductions. Hello class, please watch my intro video and create one of your own to submit for class on Monday. Boop. Monday. There we go. Now, instead of linking to my Powtoon, I actually want to embed my teacher intro Powtoon here. Let me show you how that works. 
you want to select now for submission type external tool and you'll want to find and select Powtoon LTI that will connect you up to Powtoon and then this looks familiar just select the Powtoon you want to use click select now that's set we're gonna save and publish this one as well and then we're gonna hop over to the student view to see how this looks to students so from the student perspective, I might see my, my uh, assignment here, teacher introduction. I'll click on it. I can see the link to my teacher's video. I can click that to watch it, and it opens up inside the LMS environment. And when they're ready to submit an assignment in response, they click Submit Assignment. And now Powtoon is an option there for them, and they will see their own Powtoons pop up as things that they can submit there. So I'm going to go ahead and select this Powtoon, Submit Assignment, right? Now I've submitted that to my teacher. Let's take a look and see what the student sees when they get an embedded Powtoon for their assignment. So you can see here the teacher's Powtoon is embedded. The student can watch it right there with the text of the assignment. And when they're ready to submit their work, they can simply click Submit Your Work via Powtoon. This opens up the student's Powtoon workspace, and they can see all of the Powtoons they've created there. Click on this item, select Submit to Assignment, and then the process is the same from there. Let's see how this looks on the teacher side. Now, once a teacher receives the submission, of course, if they're looking at their, at their assignment, they can see, oh, look, submissions to be graded, right? And Powtoon integrates directly with Canvas's Speed Grader tool. Let me show you how this looks. So this opens up. You can see the student's video is right here. My grading panel is right here next to it. I can tab through and see the other submissions. I can click play. Obviously watch the whole thing, but yes, Bobby, wonderful job. I'm going to go ahead and give you a 95%. We can say, great job, Bobby. See you on Monday. Submit. And I can see here in my grading, I've looked, teacher introduction, 95 points, 95%. And so all of that is there. Assignments, what the students are submitting, how you're grading them can all seamlessly connect to the video and visual content that you and your students are learning with. After all, Canvas and LMSs like it are powerful engines for learning. You'll want to use the most powerful fuel you can in those engines, and that's video and visual content, right? So no matter where your learning happens, whether that's in the classroom, remotely or in a hybrid setting, you want to learn visually with Powtoon and Canvas LMS. Happy learning, ladies and gentlemen. Happy learning indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so that gives you a sense of uh, what is what is possible. In today's video, I'm sharing an in-depth Canva tutorial for beginners. And you Thanks for your patience, everyone. Uh, so that, that gives you a, a sense of what what is possible it's just a taste um, of of what you can do once your once powtoon or a visual communication platform like powtoon is integrated with your lms um, we have a few minutes left before the end here and i just wanted again to give you a sense of uh you know you've seen how this is used you've seen the nitty gritty of how the parts fit together and how you know you can really turn this into something actionable but what what is the outcome for administrators and for um, faculty and for institutions that use Powtoon with their students. I just have a couple of, uh, of um, examples here from, uh, from customers. Um, Carla Farrell, instructional technologist at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, you know, she needed to roll out new LMS software in her institution and she created a video. This is again. Uh, it, it, this is a faculty and staff, or a fa you know, admin and staff use case. A time when you would use this to communicate internally, uh, to roll out this new software, new LMS in their institution. Made a video, a Powtoon video, to explain how it works, uh, what the benefit is, why everyone on the team should start using it. The results. The Powtoon was shared countless times until it even reached the chancellor, 
who loved it. Actually, let's hear, uh, let's hear Carla tell it in her own words. My name is Carla Farrell. I, I work for the University of Wisconsin College as an extension. The main role is working with the learning management system, and I am the chairperson for a virtual conference. So I've used Powtoons to help promote my conference. So when I started, the University of Wisconsin system had signed a system-wide contract with a video conferencing software. And so I made a quick Powtoon. Why would you use it? What was it for? And I sent this rough Powtoons to my boss. By the time I got back to work the following day, he had forwarded it to his boss, who in turn had forwarded it to the chancellor. He loved it. People love the visual of it. I could create a PDF, I could create a quick video, or I could create a Powtoons that people will watch. And they watch, I think Powtoons is so much fun to play with that I look for excuses to use it. So that, that, that's one example of, uh, of someone using Powtoon in an institutional setting. Um, to communicate with their colleagues, to give them resources that they need to succeed in the work that they're doing, uh, really helping the institution. And, and it brings with it this special je ne sais quoi, right? It's this special, the kind of thing, not only do I want to watch this, I want to share it. I want to send it to my boss and say, hey, look what my team is putting together. Um, there's something infectious about it. And I mean that in a good way about using video animated video, infographics, face-to-camera videos, screen recordings, uh, virtual events to connect with people. It really, really, really makes a difference. And just one other example I'd love to show. Um, and this is, this is from, uh, pardon me. This is uh, an example of how students uh, are, are using Powtoon. Faiza Qureshi, who uh, reached out to us on, on LinkedIn, uh, mentioned that he's incorporated digital citizenship recently into their foundation unit level, and that his students created Powtoon videos to show their understanding of the topic. And it's just amazing how quickly they learn to use different platforms, literally in a few minutes. Have a watch audio for the fun. Now, actually, I have his uh, post here. Uh, and he was he was just filming the the screen playing, but you can get a sense of what their students were able to put together in just a couple of minutes. Uh, it's it really inspiring stuff. Uh, really, really, really cool to see video in action that way. I want to thank uh, Online Ed 2021. Thank you so much for having me today.